Thanks for listening to our podcast, Unmetered. As a member-owned, not-for-profit electric cooperative, our focus is on providing affordable, reliable, safe electricity and outstanding member service. One way that we're doing that is by providing more avenues of communication to you, our member. Through the podcast, we hope that you will be able to find some helpful hints, tips, and things to help you conserve energy, as well as some informational pieces that will help you understand what it means to be a member. Thanks for listening in to another week of uh, Unmetered. This week, we're going to be talking with Casey Jones, third-year groundman here at Middle Tennessee Electric. Uh, if you've not yet t- uh, signed up for Sharing Change, make sure you do that. It's a, the easiest good thing that you're ever going to do. Uh, you can do that by signing up at sharingchange.org, or you can call 1-877-777-9020. Uh, Casey, um, thanks, for, thanks for doing this. Uh, thanks for uh, volunteering to... Uh, to, to to kind of talk to us a little bit about what you're doing now. What now? Tell me a little bit now. Behind us last week, John was. They were changing out a pole uh, top. They were, you know. Tell me what's going on right here. We're actually uh, we set this uh, 1,000 uh, pad mount transformer hooking up for the solar field. Uh, we're actually in the process of hanging a uh, triple single single breaker to isolate the solar fields from our uh, distribution lines, and uh, we're just. Uh, getting all of our switches, all that stuff fixed up. We just got the poles set. Okay. Uh, now, this is this is kind of interesting because we, you know, we just come off of uh, Cooperative Solar launching on our on our own. Now, this is this is a separate separate thing completely from our Cooperative Solar, but um, it is a, a good reminder that our members can sign up and get solar power without having to build all of this, right? Right. Right. So, so tell me something. Now, you're a third year groundman. How did you? How did you get there? What, you know, kind of walk me through a little bit of uh, what you were hired in as and kind of kind of st- take me up to where you are now. Well, we started in the fall of uh, 2013. Uh, there was four of us coming together and uh, we were hired in as temporary laborers. Uh, okay. We worked six months as temporary laborers. And uh, once that six months was up, we was uh, hired in as laborers. And uh, that was around about in April. And uh, the following January, we were hired on as groundmen. Okay. And, uh, you know, every year we just take one more step, and now, you know, we're third-year groundmen now. So. Sure. Now, tell me, now, as groundmen, obviously everyone knows about linemen. They're the ones that are always up top. You know, we always think linemen, linemen, linemen. But there's kind of a support cast involved in, in line work. Right, right. Now, what kind, of daily, what kind of responsibilities are you in charge of as a third-year groundman? As the day starts out, you just... Make sure all your truck stock, make, make sure all your stock's on the truck. Make sure you got all the material for the job that you're going to do. Uh, you know, get your water and all that stuff for the, the trucks. And, you know, once you leave the, the uh, office, you get on the job site, you know. Uh, like here, we were setting a pole and stuff. You got to get all your stuff out to set the pole. Uh, guy wires is needed. Everything out, get it out on the ground, ready to go. Uh, you know, your linemen, they'll get out, it will frame the pole. But once the pole goes up in the air, the groundman pretty well takes care of everything on the ground while the bu- ground while the lineman's up in the bucket, you know, performing his duties. Okay. You know, we're, if he needs something, we're sending it up on the hand line, and uh, you know, pretty well anything on the ground we take care of while the lineman's up in the bucket. Okay. Now, you now there's obviously some training involved in this. Is there is this something where they just teach you as you go, or or how do you, how do you learn how to do the stuff on the ground? Well, when you it's more kind of a hands-on deal, but when you come in, you you've got some books. You know, obviously mm. you gotta go through your books and stuff, and uh, that's when you first come in. You know, and then uh, Middle Tennessee Electric also offers in-house uh, training, okay, classes and stuff. And uh, I think uh, I've been there three years. I've, I think I've been to about three in-house and uh, two or three outside of outside of the co-op. Mm. Uh, most of it's pretty well hands-on. Okay. Now, you usually learn pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. Now, there's there's obviously safety is a huge huge piece of, of this job and everything. And and uh, you know as you're learning these different uh, things, I'm sure you've been asked before. Have you ever been shocked? Not here. Not here. Okay. <laughs> okay. I worked at a, a, a co-op before this, and actually the truck I was sitting in was struck by, light, by lightning. Wow. Okay. And uh, that's definitely a just a big bright light. You know. It's, <laughs> Kind of, kind of catch you off guard there yeah, a little bit. Yeah, very off guard. So, Casey, tell me a little bit about what did you want to be when you were growing up? Because I'm sure 
uh, you know, being a groundman, being, you know, working your way up uh, to be an alignment, what, I'm sure that wasn't on your priority list as a kid. What, what did you want to be growing up? Actually, it was. Was it? Okay. My, my dad uh, just retired uh, last year with 40, 41 years in at Caney Fork Electric. Wow, okay. And so I've been around him my whole life, you know, <laughs> sent through many storms without him yeah, at home, yeah. you know, him out working and stuff. And, you know, just I respected what he done mm -hmm. and, and uh, through all them years, you know, and it's just something I got interested in and something I always wanted to do, you know. You know, a lot of a lot of guys, you know, like to follow in their dad's footsteps, sure. you know, and, and I always thought it was something I always wanted to do and uh, you know it, I was lucky to have the opportunity to do it you know about four years ago so you know I've enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> That's awesome. Now we asked this to John Hood and, and I'm sure there's plenty of, of safety concerns but he talked a little bit about down power lines how you need to stay away from them uh, you know before you dig somewhere call 811. Do you have a safety tip for our members that, that you really want to make sure they're aware of? Uh, mine would probably be, uh, you know, when your lights is out, you know, and the uh, lines are down, you know, and we're all out working, uh, you know, when you go out and you hook up your whole, your generators mm -hmm. and, and hook your cord up and plug it into your dryer right. plug, you know, you're not, you're, you're putting the lights on in your house, but you're also back feeding out on us if it's not done properly. Okay. You know, and that could be a safety concern for you and us both. Sure. You know, you could get one of us hurt. You know, out on the lines, you mm -hmm. know, if it's not properly connected to the house, installed and stuff. So just making sure, just so whenever they're using a the generator, make sure they've installed it correctly. Make sure they've shut off the correct breakers. You're right. Um, so that way it's not back feeding back, you know, back up because that's, that could really be, da that's really, really dangerous for guys that are out there working that, yes. that know that that line is actually not live. Right. And then all of a sudden You're there's. You're grab something. Right, right. exactly. So uh, just, for, just, you know, make sure our members know that that uh, if they need some information on that, we're going to have that on our website. So we'll actually have a good place for them to go to now uh, about that. So that's uh, mtemc.com. Uh -huh. Casey, thanks for, uh, for for taking the time to, to talk to me for a few minutes. Let, you know, kind of give us a perspective of what groundmen do and, and kind of that uh, the, the other roles that are available at the at Middle Tennessee Electric. Uh, you know, if you're wanting to watch this on our YouTube channel, it's going to be there uh, along with all of our previous episodes. You can also pick it up on our podcast channel um casey thanks for thanks for being here and uh hopefully you know maybe we'll, we'll catch you again sometime uh maybe we'll see and uh thanks maybe it's pretty like it is it, right now. oh man it feels so good right now <laughs> last week it was like zero degrees when i was talking to john hood so uh, this is a, a great time but uh thanks for doing this for us and t stay tuned for next time unmetered is brought to you by middle tennessee electric